Hey everyone, so in recognition of the 2018 Children's Day as celebrated in Japan, Band Presto released these awesome Samurai Goku figures. Yeah, you heard me right, 2018. I wasn't kidding when I said I had these figures sealed up in their box for like two years. Since ancient times, a traditional festival was held in Japan on May 5th in celebration of children and is now considered a national holiday. Though the emphasis of the holiday is on boys, it's celebrated by children of all genders. Now at first when I bought these figures, I didn't know anything about the history of them. I just thought, hey cool, Goku in Samurai armor, that looks awesome, but they do actually have meaning that makes me appreciate them even more. The holiday is based on the legend of Kintaro. Kintaro was a young boy that was like super crazy strong since birth. He grew up deep in the mountain forests and battled like demons and monsters. Sound familiar so far? He grew up to be a samurai and became one of the four guardians of the legendary master Raiko. So armor and helmets are used as decorations on this day. It's meant to symbolize the family's wishes for their son to grow up healthy and strong uh, just like Kintaro. And in this case, like Goku. And for this occasion, Band Presto released two versions. There's an A version and a B version. Actually, I don't know which one is the A version. Oh, okay, so the A version is the one with the Shenron helmet. And it's finally time to open them. No idea. It's gotta be... What can it be actually? I can't even take a good guess. More hair? More hair. So let's do what I know. Oh, I guess I don't know. Oh my god, you think you know GT? You don't know GT. <laughs> there it is. Ta-da. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Okay, so what if I just wanted to do the helmet? Wait. But he still looks bald. Right there. That's disturbing. That's very disturbing. Kind of looks like Darth Vader. Oh! Now it looks like he's in a K-pop band. <laughs> I like that. Yo, I'd watch that BTS concert in a second. <laughs> what? I wanna like keep him like that. What? No way. That is so cool. <laughs> no, I like it. I like it like this. I might just keep it like this. <laughs> Can I do that? It's my figure. I'm gonna do what I want with it. But that's if you wanna just... Okay, that makes sense. Because then, just... <laughs> I gotta see what it looks like with hair. That just snaps into play. No? Oh, okay. So if you want him to have hair, you just take this completely off. Put this in conjunction with that. Okay. No. Oh. Your K pop bangs. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Ta da. Just disregard this. I love how elastic that is, actually. It's not just like completely stiff. Tape is super uh, awesome to get off. You don't need scissors, it just pops. Shit, no! No, as soon as I said that, no! The other one was fine. Just be more careful with it. Just take your time, delicate. There it is. There it is. That smile though. Love that smile. That damn smile. Yes, it's got the Dragon Ball on it. <laughs> yes. Count them. One, two, three, four. Four stars right there. Is it the same? I think it might be the same. Just they're interchangeable if ever you need to. Right? Unless you guys can spot a difference. I don't, I don't see a difference in either one. I'm totally okay with that. One thing I noticed about figures is that they always put Goku's hair in bubble wrap like this. Like, everything else is just in regular plastic bags, but Goku's hair has to be in bubble wrap for some reason. Oh, let's give him the K-pop look again real quick. Uh, Young J, what is that? I forget the J name of the K-pop guy in BTS. I don't know, but that's him, right there. Na 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 ha 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 Some 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 oh oh. Ooh, I love that. My first figures of 2020. 
That's so great. Oh, that's so great. I miss this so much. I can't wait for more. Wait a minute. You see that? This one doesn't really bobble, but this one. Some with the legs. What about the legs? Is this Goku like booty thick? Oh yeah, look, his knees. Goku A's knees are like rise up a little more. Or no, they don't rise up anymore. What they do? What then how's it more stable? Yeah, like that. Look at that. See that? Maybe it's the hair? Here, I'll check the hair. If anything, maybe the extra weight is what does it. I doubt it though. Yeah, no, it's not the hair. See what I'm talking about? That's weird. That's weird. Something about that booty. Something about that booty got it shaking. I'm sorry, but it still looks fantastic. Oh man, this is so cool. The remnants of the hair, which will be soon the K-pop group hair. Oh, so great. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing. I certainly did. And I even learned about Children's Day in the process. I hope you guys did too. Overall, I'm very happy with these figures. The attention to detail on them is amazing. Having the Muten Roshi symbols displayed on the helmets and the armor was a beautiful decision. The helmets by themselves look so cool that you could just display them on their own. The paint job in some areas are not perfect, but it's still very acceptable. I love that they give you the option to display him with his hair if you want. Honestly, the hair is almost too iconic to not include it. And the fact that they gave you the K-pop look as an added bonus? Yeah, I guess you could say that the K-pop bands are like the modern samurai. All in all, these are a must-have for any Dragon Ball fan. Unfortunately, these figures are kind of hard to come by nowadays. You can find them on eBay and sites like that, but at a very steep price. But if you guys ever want to get into purchasing figures, I'd highly recommend the website Tokyo Otaku Mode. I totally blame Yummy Pixels for introducing me to that site. Most of these figures come from there. Let me know which ones I should unbox next. I've got plenty more to go. I want to give a shout out to uh, Samuel Tomasco, The Golden Fighter, Cal Mack, Dual Persona Madness, Cecilia, Lesby Epic, and Goku Black. Thank you to everyone who voted in the last video on which figure I'd open today. This was a phenomenal choice. And thank you to everyone for watching, especially everyone who has subscribed and has stuck around with me for so long, even in my long absence. I really, really appreciate it. Well, until the next video, my name is Jabaz, and I'm <sighs> just saying. I wonder if wearing this green shirt is going to affect my green screen idea I had planned for earlier in the video. Nah, it'll be alright.